Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and I've positioned us right over here. We were going to, if you remember, um, grab some of these resources by going northward on these train tracks uh, that are not there yet. <laughs> but look what we have up here. This is really great. We've got crude oil. We've got two uh, mines for iron. We've got uranium. We've got coal up here. This is a really, really nice spot. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by actually dragging the track downward from here. I want to kind of make them between stone and coal and then we can have little branches that go and grab this iron, uranium, and the copper from here. So let's just go with that. Let's start with that. Um, here we go. Okay. Um, one thing I want to make sure of, I just want to check, I've forgotten, that this is a repeatable pattern. Yeah, that's what I needed to check. Here we go. Okay, so if we kind of just look, okay, we can even move it further to the right, something like this. All right, let's start here. Shift click and just press uh, S. Oh God, the mouse jumped. Whoops. Okay, that's not good. I think there's some, uh, I even, even though I wiped off my mouse pad like a hundred times, there's still some crumbs on it. I think it's from the cats walking around. Um, so that's going to necessitate us kind of going up there ourselves to kind of figure out where these tracks ended. And yeah, there they are. They are the naughty tracks. Let me just do control X. Control X in this situation is going to remove items that are placed, uh, that are naturally placed. Oh, this is also inconvenient. We need some landfill here. Um, uh, not naturally placed, but uh, human placed or engineer placed. We're not engine. We're not humans. Of course, we're not. Who would even think such a thing? But um, it, it basically is like a reverse uh, thing for um, uh, no trees, no rock, or trees and rocks. So it's no trees, no rocks. If you control X, that I, I forget who sent me that tip, but it was really useful. I was like, oh, that's cool. I never thought about doing that, but it's really brilliant like that idea and some so sometimes I use it uh, because it is so darn useful now I am afraid we are going to need to make some landfill uh, we definitely need a landfill I I normally don't come across these situations but you know it's kind of nice to have a little bit of um, continuity here and why is my mouse behaving oh god it's gone backwards now some, for some reason, this mouse has been misbehaving today, and uh, I hope it will not continue. Um, I'm kind of at the moment where <laughs> I'm a little bit displaced. Uh, I haven't yet moved into my apartment. There have been varying problems, and oh my goodness, as you see, there are continual problems here. Um, <sighs> so I'm a bit limited as to what I have access to. Normally, I have many mice I probably have. I don't know how many I have. Several. Several mice. I have definitely several. Um, so this one is misbehaving. Hold on. Sorry about that. I think I got it sorted now. Uh, okay, so let's get rid of this bit and we need to go back to our regularly scheduled programming and Oh, look at this. See? Signals. The power of signals. We were blocking the intersection, so this train did not run over us. Perfect. Uh, anyway, yeah, we need to go back. Um, let's actually just go back. He oh, we can't. We still can't turn around. That's rough. Okay. No, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go the other way. I... Sometimes when I am backing up trains, I never know what direction they're supposed to go. So I'm pressing D now. Right hand turn, right hand back turn. But to me, that isn't immediately obvious. Okay, go back to the base, please. So anyway, this is our regular building train. Um, I have thought uh, many times to maybe make a second building train. Um, one for personal use. I guess we wouldn't even need a second train station necessarily, maybe just, or a second loading station anyway, uh, because it could use just main train, main building train station. Uh, let's see, we'll go ahead and put that onto manual. I'm going to copy this train and then we'll replace it. 
uh, not replace it, but we will um, make a second one. Okay, let's put this one here. It'll fuel up. And you do your life. And then you are going to be completely devoid of a schedule. You're just going to do things. I'm going to have this train park here. Mm -hmm. And when it's parked there, I'm going to put it into manual mode. Because we want to make sure that it's just sitting there for us and not blocking another station, because that's what it was currently doing. So let's put this into manual and say go away, uh, because we do want the regular building train to be able to access. Uh, ooh, ooh. Um, you know what? You know what? Let's load the train. Let's go to the base, and then we'll come back here. Um, and then... Is there, are these long parking bays? I don't remember. Mm. What I'm thinking is we'll go... Oh, no. Uh, wait, did, was there five seconds minute activity there? Really? Huh. All right, well... Why is it not going there? Okay, there it went. That's weird. Um, the temporary stop is there. We're going to do a condition. We'll just say full cargo because it's not going to get full at the base uh, station for sure. I don't think there's enough stuff there for that. Now, we want to check on making landfill. I always forget this recipe. <laughs> this is probably the only recipe I forget. 20 stone. Oh, yeah, it's very easy in this particular uh, non-mod pack. Um, yeah, 20 stone will get us landfill. I think we can even make that here. Um, and that's going to be pretty easy, I, I think. What we'll do is we'll put it a bit downstream. Oh, no, this is downstream. It is downstream. Um... So what I'm going to do here is we're going to uh, do something like this. We're going to do a we're going to do a priority splitter splitter and make sure most of it goes to the bus just in case it's needed for things like railroad tracks and stuff like that. And then the rest is going to be landfill making items here or landfill making uh, machines, I should say. So we'll put in a few of these and there. And I don't know how fast these guys can eat stone. I don't know how many we'll need, in other words. But we'll see. Okay, you make landfill. Thank you very much. Copy, paste. Whoops. Wrong keys there. Okay, and then these guys make one per each, which is very, very slow. <laughs> very, very slow. Huh. I'm going to have this go up instead of down and then we'll just do something like this um, in order for this actually we don't even need to do this do we no we don't I forgot we could do something quite simple and just do a this into a box like this yay oh we're having some issues power we are really having power issues thank god we don't have biters because we would be in trouble um, let's check what's going on with the construction. Okay, so what's happening here is it looks like... Oh, okay. All right. So we're definitely not getting roboports done. Here are these are little lakes there. Are we missing other things? Like, it's going to look for, like, uh, substations appear to be there. I have roboports on me. I'm not really sure why... Those other roboports are not getting placed. Let me see if we have connection. We do have connection. I don't understand this. Huh. It's weird. But yeah, for whatever reason, these roboports are just not getting placed. Um, let's check our mall real quick. Let's uh, get rid of this overlay. And find our roboport makers. Here we go. We are getting them made. They are being made. All right, I'm going to go down and place some because this is just silly. Let's walk down there and, and get some placed. Because this is just not cool, man. Okay, we're going to go... We're going to go a little bit at a time. 
I want to go laterally here because, uh, oh wow, this is a big pain in the socks to get through here. I want to go laterally so that we can get progressively more stuff done here. I feel like that would be a good choice. Let's go up this way. Radars, roboports, things, stuff. Okay, now we can go this way. Mm -hmm. and now the bots can place other things like their... Uh, okay, now, so now we're out of roboports, but we can kind of keep on going through a little bit, clear out some trees, uh, do what we can, basically. If there are any sub substations that we can put down, those will get put down. Uh, I don't think we have any more. Looks like we've run out. But in general, that's us. Okay, let's go back to game speed one. All right, that was a nice jaunt. Pretty easy peasy. Okay, cool. That is very cool. All right, so now we, we have added roboports, and that means we can have a further construction area uh, which is great. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and snip some of these guys off. That can go. This one can go. We want to have kind of a checkerboard pattern here. This one, maybe we leave that one for now till we get, you know, a stable kind of uh, area where we can build and all that kind of stuff. Okay, very nice. Now, ah, stone. Stone, stone, stone. We can, and I think we should. Wow, there is no stone coming up here. We need to incre or, uh, change this belt speed. Definitely make this to be red. The entire stone belt. Oh, and it looks like we are not getting any, not getting much here. I feel like, yeah, this is just not great. Oh, and there's one that's not, One that's not participating. Yo, that's not cool. This one is also too far out. It's in a very... Oh, ah, of course. It's feeding the furnace maker. That's what it's doing. It's not meant to be uh, doing that. Okay. So we can just prove, move those there. We can change this entire thing. And so we can get three more mines in here properly. Okay, that's something. Uh, not much of something, but it's something. Oops, let's get these going. All right, so we have a little bit more stone. Not gonna be enough. Definitely not gonna be enough. However, if we move this up a bit, I don't know why, but I keep thinking about there's the Star Trek episode. Is it? Oh, I forget the name. It's an it's an original Star Trek. But I keep thinking of it's about Spock's intended bride, and she loves this guy called Ston. Something Ston, and like stone. Is it? No, maybe not. I don't know. It's just annoying me at the, at the moment. Annoying my brain. I can't get it out of my head for whatever reason. Okay, so we're going to um, put in stone here and have it output onto the belt. And we should be getting more... Ah, this is getting placed, which is good. Very good. Uh, okay, so that's something. That's something. And I don't know where the landfill is going. Probably into building train area. Oh, we have 100 landfill. That's quite nice. I'm going to request landfill. Let's see. There we go. Let's request like a thousand landfill. And that way we'll we'll get a bunch. And hopefully it will be enough for our escapades into create look wow, that's a big lake. We should have gone around this lake, I feel. Hmm. That would have been more sensible, I think. But it's okay, we'll try it anyway. Um that's uh, a lot to get through, my goodness. We may have to just place stuff, um yeah. I wonder, let me call the, eh? okay, something, oh, I see, this one being parked here is beyond the signal, 
Shoot. Um, okay. All right. We're going to have to find a new place to park this. Actually, you know what we could do? Is park it here on the side. Like this. Something like that. And we'll just call this building parking or something. Let's see. Okay, base, building, parking. Okay. So we're going to have this train go there. And we'll just say mm, fluid count. Yeah. Heavy oil greater than zero. Yeah, there we go. So go there, please. So we want it to fill up, basically, and then we want it to go park. That That's the idea here. Now we have... Okay, there we go. That's good. But uh, what's good is the other building train is going to come in here, and I can steal the landfill from it, if it has any. Uh, no, it did not yet get any. Okay, that's perfect. Cool. Very cool. So uh, now I'm hoping we can get this... Uh, Okay, yeah, we're out of solar and out of this. So that's great. Okay, so they're they're placing a bunch of solar panels and slowly building this out. As you can see, this whole chunk has been done. This is where we were limited before. And now we're getting some more, um, more energy, which is very nice. But um, we wanted to get some centrifuges down so we can start making nuclear power. And I feel like that's a great idea. Oh, this is this was where we were going to make them, wasn't it? How nice. <laughs> we forgot to put them in. Oh, no. No. Okay. Um, and then here we want to make concrete, or import concrete, I should say. So there we go. Um, so we wanted to get our concrete. How much concrete? 100 concrete. Holy crap. Jeez. This is a bit nuts how much stuff is required. Yeah, so much material required. Um, we don't yet have any concrete, so we definitely need to make some. Um, so that requires stone bricks and iron ore, which is kind of a weird combination. And it also needs water. Uh, okay, we can get water from there or from here. Maybe from here is closer. Um, the iron ore is going to be up there. So let's see, if we bring up the water... Oh, wait, hold on. We can bring it from here. It's already here. Okay, so we can kind of divert stuff from this area, maybe. All right, let's get a couple of makers making this concrete because it's um, well. Actually, that's that's okay. Control X, and we want to have room for inserters, of course. These guys we'll just have back there, and then the, that one will go like this. All right, and you're gonna make concrete. Let's just make sure we got the recipe correct. Yep, stone brick and iron ore. Okay, that's fine. Put the stone brick closer. Oopsies. So you can uh, easily insert stuff. And then the iron ore can come here. And I'm just using red belt because that's what I have. Um, I'm not just going to go and just get yellow belt just for this. I'm going to hook this up. So as soon as we connect that iron ore, it's going to work. Oh, look at this. We already have iron ore right here. Now, there's two ways we can get off, uh, get the iron ore off here. I think the easiest is probably just to use a splitter. Uh, it's also in a single direction, so that's nice. We don't have to turn the direction, uh, or I guess it doesn't really matter in this case. So you can do this. That's the most common way of, of doing this kind of a, an operation. Though you can do it many different ways. 
space. We, we always like to encourage all kinds of thinking because you you get to different problems as you you do things in this game and it's uh, it's pretty exciting to to be able to solve problems in different ways. I, I do that all the time. That's why I've been playing this game for more or less seven years um, continuously, like literally continuously for seven years and trying to think of different uh, ways of doing things and to make things interesting both for myself and for you. Uh, I feel like, you know, having that innovative nature is, is really good for people. So this is a very slow crafting process, by the way. Actually, what I might do, what I might do is move these over, um, like here, mm -hmm. and then have another set there. Get rid of this, extend these. I thought they were different speed belts for some unexplained reason. Now, I'm also going to put these on a belt. Um, and it's... Uh, they, they're okay being offloaded by these long-handed inserters because the crafting process is so slow. Um, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and make like one row of concrete. That's more than enough. Um, even though they're made, made 10 at a time. Actually, I don't know how slow it is. We have really slow slow power right now, so it's hard to tell. 10 seconds. I think that's more than enough time for these guys to offload that many, especially since we do have some kind of stack inserter bonus right now, our stack bonus on those. Let's see. What are we doing in terms of energy? Are we... Uh, okay, we are gaining more, but we definitely, definitely need to keep uh, getting other stuff. Let's make sure that this is, it is within an orange zone. That's perfect. So now that means we can get this going if it's also in an orange zone. It is. Okay. So this is requesting nothing because we forgot to set it up, but as soon as we do, <laughs> it'll be better. <laughs> there we go. All right. A hundred concrete. Okay, great. And this thing is loaded up with twice as many as is needed, which is great. So then the, the bots can bring the concrete and it'll just uh, fill up and then we have enough materials for the next thing again. But unfortunately, it looks like we are so out of circuits. Oh my God. We have a very serious lack of circuits and that's because there's no green circuits. Why are there no greens? Okay, looks like there are no greens because... Uh, I think it was probably production was slow, and now it's better because we have speed. Uh, wow, this is this is actually quite full. This belt. Maybe I should make a second belt. I'm thinking I should. This is this is not uh, not the usual problem we have here. That's a little bit funky. Okay. Let's do it. Let's just make another belt of circuits um okay no can't do that okay hold on can we do this yes we can mostly do this And then this one, I want to do something like this, so that this can do this. Oh, no, 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 night. Okay, there we go. All right, cool. And then we're getting this second belt diverted here. This is going to be very spaghetti, very squirrely, and I apologize for that. I should have thought about this previously. I'm going to do priority to the left, just to fill the belt back up for any um, any situations of, uh, you know, just um, split offs where we're actually using a lot of circuits. So let's go here. Mm hmm Let's go again. Copy paste. So now we can just use that paste anytime we need to. Like here. Paste. 
paste. Alright, looking pretty good. A bit annoying, but that's okay. We're, we're making it work. You know, I mean, that's the important part, is that it works. And we are getting a lot of circuits going here, so that's really great. Um, I don't. I thought we had one of these before the last split, but let's just make another one just in case. Okay. Ugh. Paste. All right. This has not been the most fun I've had in an afternoon. Okay. All right, and we're down. Good. Fantastic. So we are definitely taking off from one side, which is pretty great. All right, and now we are completely out of circuits on that side. Wow, how did that happen? Okay. So what's going on here? Why are we not getting circuits? It looks like a lack of copper. And that is because we have not enough... Ooh, not enough belts. Wow. All right, so we need to upgrade this to red belts. Actually, let's upgrade the entire area here to red. And that will definitely help things flow a little better. Just like make sure we just unclog things here and let things flow better. And any any yellow belt is going to slow stuff down because we have converted our furnaces to red belt a long time ago, but. If there's any piece of yellow belt, it's going to mess it up. There we go. Anything else along this line? Just make sure. Just make sure. Okay, that's going to give us a lot more production. Wow. Okay. So I also want to do an upgrade for uh, all the machines in this area, at least. I'm, I'm very carefully not doing the inserters because the inserters are not needed to be upgraded. So there we go. And then let's cancel some of the upgrades to be like there, something like that, because they're not reaching there anyway. Okay, that's looking better. A lot better, actually. Um, another thing that we can do here is actually do some productivity. And usually what I do is like three productivity and one speed in this situation. Because that's, uh, it definitely makes a difference. Let's see, what do we got here? So productivity plus 12%. That's, that's okay. It's not bad. And then speed is plus 5%. So it's not a huge speed. But it's, it's it definitely adds a little bit. And also the 12% productivity. So you get everything and it's all positive. Oh dear. What is this? Oh no. What? How? How did you run out of fuel? You're going to copper. Oh, you know what? I bet we don't have any fuel pickup there. Um, I need to... I don't know what I need to do. Hold on. Let's figure out that problem in a second. I want to use our module inserter um, functionality. This is a mod. It's a really good one. Where we can tell, um, tell it to put specific modules into machines. And this is the thing that I've really hoped that uh, will be added to vanilla. Because right now you have to actually tear down the machine in order to tell it to put modules in. And it's like, okay, why? I don't get it. Okay, so these other ones, we don't have the machines for those. Um, so they aren't going to get their modules. So there we go. We can actually place the modules in these. Uh, I don't know if we have more. There we go. We got some of them going. That's good. So we're going to get some productivity here. So that should definitely raise the amount of green circuits that we're producing. Um, alternatively, oh wow, look at how many we're making now. This is great. Um, we can also import some from our brand new thingy, thingy, thingy. Okay, let's put this in manual. I want to check. We want to check a few things here. We need to check and make sure that we're getting solid fuel. Okay, we have no solid fuel. That's a big problem. So we're going to take these off, take all the lights out, and we're going to bring solid fuel instead. That is part of the problem. Big problem. Copy, paste. Okay, so anything else that I want? Mm, 
I'm not using these to build rails very much anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and take off these sig signals as well. Um, yeah, there you go. Solid fuel, there we go. Or, you know what, let me just take this and put that there and put the solid fuel all together. So I want you, Train, to go back to the building station and pick up that solid fuel. I'm going to make sure that it's being fed as well because it might not be. Yeah, and it looks like it isn't. That's not great. Hmm. Logistics request. Solid fuel. Okay, let's hope we can get it before, before the train leaves. Okay, and let's go to manual mode real quick. All right, there we go. We need to fill up this train with solid fuel. So there, it's going to be transferring a little bit slowly, but it will at least get there. Now, now we need to make sure that we are feeding the station's solid fuel. So we are requesting. That's good. We are not receiving, however, and that's a problem, especially at the copper station. Um, I think we changed this station. Perhaps? No, we did not. Okay, that's new problems. All right. All right. Um, oh, wow, we have a box. Holy fuzzy cats. Let's go in. Oh, whoops. Okay, I forgot. I can't pick it out of that box. <laughs> but it's nice that we actually had this. So I'm going to copy this and paste it over there and paste it down here. Uh, we can't do that, unfortunately. We can do this, though. We can, If we delete these, we can paste them in. Oh, no, not there. Not there, friend. Nope. Okay, and this one should also have... This is one reason why we put in... Um, why we... Uh, why we, like, request random, like... Ah, one of these chests. I think we have a request for... Oh, ten. Ten. We have a request for ten. But that's the reason why, is, like, to make these changes on the fly. And I think they were regular boxes just because uh, you may not have robotics by this point... Um, and that kind of thing. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool how that works. We also need... Oh, man. We are lacking electricity out here. That's not great. So, we may have a radar, but we don't see. We just need that, um, that stuff going. Oh, whoa. Okay, this is not great. Why? Why is this so messed up? Oh, I remember. Yeah, because we, we did a, a curious experiment which ended up not working very well okay that's okay though it's okay to have experiments and it's actually great to have to do experiments all right now i'm going to grab some more landfill um oh, is this already full fantastic wow that's great let's go and get more landfill i don't know how much has been given to us oh we have a ton actually we're pretty good i think we actually might be good all right let's take our train we're going to go and um, fill up real quick at the building train station and then we will go and fix the train that is out of fuel and then we shall go and do our building all right so we're coming up to a point of no radar coverage here and i wanted to see what what is the deal with this let's see let's put this in manual mode real quick there's our radar okay and then we're coming up on this there's the stop train up there and I also wanted to just go through these stations and make sure that we got everything that we need uh, needed. Okay. <laughs> That's not great. Okay. All right. I don't know what we're putting down here, but okay. So these things should be requesting and getting fuel. Always make sure that they are in range of your roboports. That's super important. Uh, yep, they're all in range. That's perfect. So let's go up here and fuel this train. Actually, we can f fuel it from the end. It doesn't really matter. We should have... Yeah, we have plenty of fuel. All right, so that's fine. We'll just fuel one engine. That, that should be acceptable for now. And then we will uh, go ahead and go behind this train. Oh, I should just respect the signals. I should drive like a proper train driver here. Um, okay, it's green. Green. Okay, green. Just need to stop at the red one, so we're not there yet. Okay, first red one. Green, green. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
See, I'm driving like an actual proper train engineer. This is good. This is very good. I really like to like look at signals and stuff when I'm at the stations and uh, Matthias has shown me what to watch out for, like what there are specific kinds of si signals that are different. Um, there's like, I forgot what they're called. There's like little white ones by the track. Uh, oh, what are you doing? Oh, you're just a basic copper train. Okay, cool. Very cool. This one will fill up in a bit and it will go back to its place. And then, all right, and then I am going to go over here and try to get this stuff organized. Actually, no, this looks fairly continuous. Let's just go over here and see if we can get stuff going. Oh, God, I forgot. Oh, I'm not on the train. Oh, train, train, train. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, God. Oh, God. Where is it going? Why is it not clicking? Oh, the stupid train. I couldn't get it to click o open. It was like, I just could not get it to click, no matter what I did. All right, train, you come here. And I'll wait for you over here. We'll just create our own platform in the middle of the desert. Uh, Where'd you go? Where'd you go? That's not you. Where did you go, train? Is it, it might be going all the way through there. Yep. Hmm. It might be worth putting a turnaround area. Is there like a radar down here? That's weird. All right, my train should stop in front of me. There, I think that one's it. All right, let's see. Should stop right in front of me. There it comes. Yep, yeah, slowing. There we go. Okay, so I want to go to this section that isn't in radar right over there. Let's see, is it still not radared? Yeah, it still isn't. That's unusual. I thought we had a radar out there. No, it doesn't matter. We'll fix it. We got to get these things going. Oh, so nice. Just driving through the countryside, seeing all the all the sights, all the, the nature here. Arendelle really did a great job with uh, alien biomes, and I'm sure he's working quite uh, diligently on the next expansion for Factorio, which is going to give us new planets. Of course, many new environments with that. I'm excited for that because I do like the visuals of what we've already seen on Fulgora. And uh, yeah, it's pretty exciting. Pretty exciting indeed. There we go. All right, there we go. Nice. We are getting there. But yeah, there's several different kinds of signals on the line. There are these ones that they use for like switching and then ones that they use for traffic, like regular traffic. And I don't remember the names of the small ones. Um, I, I would ask Matthias, but he is currently sleeping. Um, he works evening shift, so um, he's sometimes... Well, I, I only sleep six hours a day, so that's that's my bad. I'm... I'm I sleep too, too little. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe too little is the right word. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I, I've been sleeping like six hours for a few years, ever since I got my migraines. So definitely interferes with my sleep patterns and that's not great. I'm going to just make minimal landfill through this area because I really don't see that it's necessary to put down signals in these swampy areas. It's just not needed. Okay, here we go. Let's go here. Mm. I got a little bit off, off kilter there. No, dude, how did that even work? I don't understand. Why would that do that? Easiest way to go in a straight line is W A S D. Oh, hello. Hello. You forgot to connect. Connect. Um, also, we seem to be lacking some power poles. I guess I'll get those on the way down. Mm, let's get... Let's see. We can take these substations off and instead put the landfill on our hotbar for now. Since we're needing that a little bit more than substations at the moment. Okay. There we 
we've got some more breakages. I'm hoping this will be enough. We'll see, I guess. Squishy, wishy, washy. There we go. And if we don't get it on the way down, we get it on the way up for sure. Okay, there we go. Things are happening. Good, good. Of course, just trying to identify all these watery bits. Let's keep going. Can't quite walk in a, in a continuous motion with four tracks needing to be assembled. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any power, and that's a slight problem because I was going to put, like, um, put um, radars down this way, but unfortunately, I ain't got the ability to do that right now. Actually, you know what? We can go up and then walk back down, or something back down or like go slowly in the train back down and make sure that we get all the rails placed did we add we did add a straight radar yeah we sure did why did i not use this pattern hmm man who, who built this factory oh my god ah but we could do this that's nice Yeah, okay, cool. There's a little bit of cleanup at the base there, but it does give us a nice continuous radar area. So, um, this is what we currently have. I'm going to bring the train up here, like there. And I want to build a turnaround. Huh, let's see, we have a... We have a turnaround in here, I think, somewhere. No? Did we just put it in the main rail book? Could be there, actually. Let's see. Did I build a turnaround? Symmetrical turnaround. I did. I did. All right. So we're going to build one like this, and then we can build a corollary for the other side. Okay, let's just copy this over, flip it, there we go, and then just try to make it nice, there we go, okay, that's cool, very cool. So let's copy the entire thing, um, I'm going to shift click this, we're going to say um, turn around. Okay. All right. Create blueprint. Let's put this in our new book. I'll try to add this. Um, also, let's put the other one in the quick rails book. I think we use them maybe enough to warrant putting them in the rails quick book. Usually I like to just have as few blueprints as possible just to make sure that, um, that you can just flip through them quite fast, but I think it's okay. It's not too bad to have that in there. Oh, okay. Catching the train. Let's go. All right, so we're going to take this train slowly. We're going to put it in manual mode. And then I'm going to make sure that we have enough track down here. Um, just we're going slowly. Okay, that's good. Okay, so it is working as long as we're not in automatic mode. So now we're seeming to just put some signals down. That's okay. Sort of miss those on the first go. Okay, that's a little bit too many. Hold on. Somehow it looks like our blueprint got misaligned from stuff. I hope that's not going to be repeated throughout. Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm not going to stop and fix it. Because it doesn't actually matter that much. Somehow it got misaligned. Uh, and that's unfortunate. But that... it. Like I said, it's a couple extra signals, a little bit of expense, but do we care? Not really. Not actually. Uh, one thing I do want to check, ah, and here, here we can make the check, is 
do we have electricity? And the answer is definitely not. So do we have electricity now? Mm, not yet. Okay, we don't have it yet. I got confused because we have radar on our person, of course. But here, oh, this is where we really shouldn't have done this. What I should have done here and what I was planning to do, but I completely forgot that we had this junction in this way, is you can use your deconstruction planner to filter out ghosts. So anything that was a ghost, we could have just deleted and said, ah, we don't want this. But what I'm going to do instead is just delete the entire intersection and replace it just with a curve again. Do that. There we go. Easy peasy. Uh, except there's a little bit of breakage there. That's okay. I'm going to put in this and then and then then we look at our map and see can we see things. All right. So let's check our electrical lines and see are we having continuous electricity? Yes. However, it looks like when we copied the radar thing, it is not either there's not one there. Are we actually that low on electricity right now? No, we are not. So we should be seeing this upper part. I'm not really sure why. Maybe the radar wasn't placed there or something. Let's go ahead and, and figure out. Now, in this part in the middle of the lake, of course we understand why the radar is not functioning. Is because, <laughs> yeah, it probably didn't get placed because of landfill or lack of landfill. So let's put one there. Okay, that's good. That works. All right, you can see the radar immediately appeared on the main map. You can use this uh, radar and hold it in your hand and see, you know, where the blue coverage area is. You can see me moving it around there. Um, and that can help you place radars down more easily. All right, so we have, it looks like there is a plan for a radar. Why didn't it get placed? Hello? Where are you, little radar? Oh, you have, aw. For some reason, that's weird. Huh. It got placed beyond a lamp. So I don't really know what happened there. Anyway, we have now a huge area that we can play with and we can now make our minds on um, soon and get those things sorted so we can have more production because these guys actually, well, we, <laughs> oh, now the lights went off. Whoops. Um, so yeah, as soon as we are actually using these green circuits that are being produced here, um, we are going to be able to get uh, more stuff going. Um, or we're going to need a lot more plates and therefore keep these guys, these factories in business. Because right now we're not actually using any of these green circuits and we might shunt those to the main factory in order to keep our, you know, red circuits flowing, the blue circuits flowing and all that. This is, okay, it's going slow because we don't have electricity. This has been a continuous problem. However, we're taking steps to solve this by making, you know, uh, these guys were making centrifuges. I think a lot of them are going to the building train. That's why it says there are none, but I'm pretty sure we have some, let's see, can we stop this train please? Manual. Yes. Um, let's see. We have one. How do we only have one centrifuge? We might have some in this train actually. That might be a thing. Uh, no. How do we only have one centrifuge? I'm very confused by that because we had enough materials to make at least two. So that's a bit weird. Um, but anyway, when we get to the point of making some kind of nuclear stuff, which maybe we'll do in the next episode, um, then I think it would be good if we just... Um, if we go up to the uranium deposit and then put down a whole bunch of centrifuges to convert into nuclear fuel. And then we can have our nuclear plant somewhere that makes sense on a coastline that, that is good for this. So far, I'm not, well, I guess this one would be okay, this coastline. It's, it's okay, not great. You always want a straight coastline that is not sort of diagonally like this. You want it straight. This one's not ideal. This one might do here, vertically. Mm, that could be okay. Anyway, um, yeah, we'll see what, what we're going to do. I do want to collect all the centrifuges on me. 
Uh, do I have a request for them? Let's see. Probably not yet. Though, even so, sometimes they they do get um, displaced elsewhere. So yeah, 50 is enough. Actually, probably 20 is enough. Let's go for 20. That's more than enough. Okay. I'm really still shocked. Like, how? Because, like, remember, we were looking at the assembler and seeing, okay, it has enough for two crafts. We're just missing the concrete. Oh, you know what? Maybe we didn't have enough for two crafts. We were also short on red circuits. So that might have been the issue. All right. Well, that's okay. We're getting it. We're now getting lots and lots of red circuits coming down here. And hopefully we're going to get stuff going. Um, one of the problems, by the way, if you're new to this game, and uh, yes, I am very well aware of how to play. I'm very well aware we have no electricity. And I know exactly why we don't have enough electricity. Uh, that was because we had roboports not being made for a long time. And we're probably having issues also with substations, I would gather. No, actually, we have substations, so that's not too bad. Um, but yeah, we, we don't... Uh, solar doesn't make a whole lot of power. And having the bots... I should have put these panels one at a time, I think. Uh, because as you see, they are kind of fragmented right now. And that really doesn't help uh, when, when doing these kinds of things. I'm going to go ahead and take off... Um, let's see... This chunk here. So it like focuses the... Uh, building. I think that's a good idea to just focus the building into the smaller areas. And we can do that here as well. Just remove these bits. There we go. So then we'll, we'll fill these out and that's going to make more sense and we can just put all these things together because stuff like this where you don't have connected substations it doesn't help us at all so that's not good I'll probably go out there and just clean up those little bits of mess uh, with my own gear uh, walking around as, as the engineer uh, between episodes so we get a little bit of better focus on the energy generation but yeah we're gonna need a powerful energy source and unless you have like masses and masses of uh, solar makers, which we don't have that many. We got four of each. That's not enough. Uh, we need, we would need a ton in order to supply this and rely on solar energy. Yes, it's ish free, but you got to make the machines to, to get things uh, powered up. Got to make the solar panels and the accumulators. So we, I mean, we have been increasing steadily, as you see, but it's not enough. Uh, the modules take an enormous amount of energy, and so that's why we have no power. But anyway, that's what we got for this episode. If you could take just two seconds of your time, please, and click that like button if you enjoyed the episode. And if you didn't, uh, do let me know why. But uh, clicking that like button is just enormously uh, helpful for the channel. It's It really does wonders, and uh, I appreciate you uh, interacting that way because it's kind of important. So, um, yeah, and if you have anything to say, I always read my comments, and I appreciate people uh, who per are participating with that. Also, thank you to all of my patrons and sponsors and people who are, um, you know, generously uh, donating to me uh, to help make these videos possible. Well, actually, they do make these videos possible. It's not just help. They make them possible for me to make a living doing YouTube and playing games for you and doing what I do best. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.